with his main opponents either in prison or excluded from the ballot. Tunisian President Kai Saeed is poised to face little resistance in securing re-election on Sunday, five years after his first term victory, fueled by anti-establishment sentiment. Many think there could be a situation like a coup d'etat. The army will have a reason to stop the president from doing another mandate, with radicalism in his program. Others think maybe Ayachi Zamel will be let out of prison, like in the Senegalese scenario where we saw a presidential candidate who was imprisoned and also who got out. Tunisia has in the recent months witnessed dozens of protests, especially from the opposition, who are calling for the release of their leaders and other members who were arbitrarily arrested by the regime of President Kai Saeed. The president's supporters think this is a key moment because there are a lot of people against the president, plotting against him. So we should move forward and this election will give him the power to carry out this program, to liberate the country from a kind of Western domination, from corruption within the institutions. The question now looms over Tunisia's future trajectory. Tunisia has maintained ties with its traditional Western allies, but also forged new partnership under President Saeed.